Okay, now we're live. Oh, shit. <laughs> I already did the intro. It was the well, best do intro it. ever. Well, do it again. <laughs> I can't. It was just too perfection. <laughs> it's so perfect, I can only do it once. Just like Daffy Duck and his, his one trick where he blows himself up. Yeah, because he just comes back in the next scene with some bandages. Okay, they could yeah. Good. That was a that was a I don't know that was a that was a very funny segment from Looney Tunes. It's it like <laughs> he, he walks back into the next scene and he's a ghost. <laughs> oh, so it's making fun. <laughs> it's making fun of those cliches. Just be like, hey, I got blown up in the last scene, but I'm okay. But next scene, I just got some band aids on. It's fine. I, I, but what he what he says is in the next scene is uh, it just goes to show you you got to kill yourself to win an Oscar these days. <laughs> <laughs> nowadays, you get, nowadays you get an Oscar by slapping someone. But um, uh, freaking, I think the idea of him becoming a ghost reminds me of this freaking thing I saw. Just like, I don't remember what exact the project exact was, but it's like, can you drink motor oil? And the response is just once. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not wrong. No, he isn't. You can, in fact, drink motor oil, but it just, yeah. it'll, it, yeah, you just won't be able to do it a second time. Everybody gets one. <laughs> That's what you say meant. <laughs> yeah. Now drink my motor oil. Is that, is that a come on? No. <laughs> Unless you're Yugi, in which case it is always a come on. <laughs> All of the homo. All of the homo. That was the that was the greatest. Yep. That was the greatest greatest crossover ever. Yep. Even though technically it was only a two way crossover because it was uh, Shady Box and Little Karibo. Yeah, Shady Box, Little Karibo, and a fill in voice actor. But you know what? We had Shady Box and Little Karibo. They could have given us like freaking Barney the Dinosaur. We would have been happy. True that. True that. Speaking of Barney the Dinosaur. <laughs> what? We're, we're probably gonna play Rush Duels again. Probably. Speaking I will of, take another to prove that maximums are not terrible. Speaking of Barney the Dinosaur, go Rush. What? <laughs> I didn't have a segue. Speaking of Barney the Dinosaur, Rush Duels. Just, but for, but for real, I don't know what it is about Rush Duels, but they've been giving Sea Serpent, or the, like the Sea Serpent type. Because like the, the like rush tool works on types and attributes yeah, rather than archetypes. archetypes. Like it'll say light or dark sea serpent, and for some reason light or dark sea serpents have gotten way way too much support. In fact, they need to stop. They currently have more maximums. I'm pretty sure than any other type or attribute. <laughs> It's weird that they Actually, have, let me double check. It's weird to think that they probably have more support than the main protagonists. Let me, let me see here. Uh, actually, let me look at the let me look at the magnums real quick. All right. Okay, so the one the one archetype that gets more support. Wait, no, wait, no, wait. I, I gotta I gotta cut that in half because they're they double up because of the the, the alternate artworks. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three. Okay, so yeah, okay, no, never mind. They they do get so the Magnums do get more support, but it's the only archetype, and it's from it's Yuga's archetype. So it's like they're only second to the Dark Magician of Go Rush. Don't the Sevens Road cards technically count? Well, yeah, they do. Like Sevens Road has their own archetype as well. Mm. But Yuga again. Right. Again, it's, it's it's only Yuga. Yuga is the only one that has more support than this brand new archetype of just sea serpent. Uh, what are they called? Yeah, the, the I think they were called ultra dragons. It's weird. Was that the freaking no, no. kraken thing with many heads you summoned the last rush duel we did? Right. Oh yeah, the the, the crack. Right. Okay. No, they're they're all called. They are the the rush duel abyss archetype. Apparently, 
Hopefully they all support Abyss Soldier. <laughs> Abyss Soldier, best deck. Even though Abyss Soldier is a legend card. For some freaking reason. <laughs> well, then again, they made freaking Upstart. They gave Upstart Goblin support in Rush Duel, so I'm not surprised. Right, I don't know. It's just funny. Like, they're suddenly just, hey, you guys want to play the Abyss Archetype? Like, okay, sure. And we're going to give this more support than dragons. What? <laughs> It's, it's funny, just like they're they're trying so hard to make maximums into a good archetype. Yeah, and it never freaking works out. I guess I'll keep this. I think it might actually work because now they got a back row deck. Dun dun dun. Anyway, I'm hosting. See if you can't beat him. Set four pass. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's no matter what format it is, Yu Gi Oh! is always going to Yu Gi Oh! stall. Wait, yep. wait a minute, set four pass. Oh, wait, no, I guess you guess you're a normal set. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm talking about like the field. Like, uh, I'm, I'm basically saying field spell because you know four in rush duel, uh, the only four you could set are three back row and then four field, or then the fourth one's the field spell. Uh huh. Because some field spells you can't activate right away. I'm hosting in U.S. West, by the way, as Jim. Oh Wait. yeah, did you? Did uh, is it because um, Stanley Parable? It was mostly just because Ace Jim liked. Wait a minute, um, I don't see you in U.S. West Casual. Might be competitive, I might have hit the wrong thing. Make sure that you got the, uh, show locked rooms on. Oh, show locked rooms, the that's pass, it. Because the password's one. I forgot to mention that. Okay, well. I am also, I'm still, I'm still the Gami. <laughs> Gami? Gummy. <laughs> it's because I like gummy bears. <laughs> Gummy bears. What gummy bears? What gummy bears? So I start by summoning a Bisvoyanoi. Do that to draw two cards. Activate this guy's effect. Revealing one maximum monster in my hand. Ooh. Draw one card. Then I can place one card back into the deck. This card looks like it would be like a random equipped Zord for a Mega Zord. I'm going to put the monster I just drew back into the deck. And then, other ones the Shogun! The maximum. The other game's got 2200 attack, not terrible. I will then set three cards face down and end my turn. Uh, oh, crud, this hand didn't get any better. Alright, I'm going to set a monster set, and set two cards face down. And that won my turn. Wow. Okay, sweet. I'll normal summon uh, Ascending Weather Eagle. I'll activate its effect to shuffle two monsters from my graveyard into the deck. And then I can add a maximum monster to my hand from the top excavated cards. Mm. With that, I'll then go into the battle phase and attack your face down with my maximum. Feel the wrath of the Hanoi. Trap has to holy barrier. Mirror force. No. Well, shit. And then a time. Draw. Really? Mirror force. Oh, actually, this well, is shit. Good. Actually, I'm kind of. I might be. You might have just fucked me over completely. Magic card. Ship of the seven. Or seven treasures. Sending finalized Phoenix to the graveyard to draw a card. Since I send a level seven monster to the graveyard, I get to draw an additional card. Really? Why do I keep drawing all my bricks? I'll freaking do it again! Did you draw another brick? Fortunately, no. I'll flip my barrier statue of the Inferno. Oh, you know, that card got limited. Really? Yeah. yeah, Inferno. Yeah, Inferno got limited. Inferno specifically? Yeah, Inferno specifically. Okay then. It's it's the only statue barrier that's in the game. Oh, that would that would do it then. Cremation dog nitro. Remember, don't cremate him. Uh, yeah. And then turn this. <laughs> that this you so much when I told you about it. Well, it fucked me up because of the vo they did an excellent job with the acting. Now I'll do burn damage. Ow, my burn. I'd uh, hurt you. Punt, gonna hit you right in the gabba. I'll punch you straight in the gabba. <laughs> now, turn, me, mom. 
Tribute my two monsters for chemicalized salamander. Can you get a, why does this feel like something that Soul Burner would play? Because the not gonna lie, when I took the stack it, it was labeled as Salamander Great, so I just renamed it Salamander Great. <laughs> look at these even look like Salamander Greats. Uh, okay, so I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. I literally just bricked. You kinda of fucked me over with that mirror force, not gonna lie. Oh, according to Cake. Uh if if it was literally anything other than Mirror Force, I would have been able to play one of the spells in my hand. But I can't do that. This monster to then tribute summon this thing. Then wait, you're playing wait, you're playing genies? Puzzle! Attack! Ow, my face. Now all you have to do is draw the out. If I draw any level four lower monster, I got it. Silent Angler? Afterglow Angler. Uh oh. Get ready for the Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I let you live too long. No, no, no! Actually that thing looks pretty cool. Wait, did you just- And now I can just throw one face up level 8 or lower on your feet. Uh, monster on your field. My dragon! And since a card was sent from my field to the graveyard, I can activate my trap. A Biscuit Ultimale. You gain a thousand life points. Doing a thousand life points and making my monster completely unaffected by card effects this turn. Now what are you doing? Oh, Wait. I'm uh, paying 500 life points to get that exact card that I just sent to the graveyard back. I got you down to 100 life points. You gained a thousand, and then you paid 500. Okay, no, then I got you down to 600 life points. I can't math. Ow, my face! I only have one of those. <laughs> oh yeah, and if you do literally anything, I will immediately make my monster immune to everything. <laughs> if you breathe, I'm unaffected. Yep. Hmm. This is what I meant when I said back row deck now. I need to think, which is a very dangerous thing for me to do. <laughs> just like that one time Jaden tried to think. Oh wait, I just realized this is a, I just realized this hand is a master brick. It is four level sevens. Wait, what? My hand is four level sevens. That's okay, because if you summoned a level 7, I would immediately give my monster an extra 1,000 attack point and make him unaffected by destruction effects. Once again, Ace is back into the corner and pulls out a win. Booster! <laughs> Ace is reduced to 600 life points. So you have accepted death. Well. Draw the out? Of course not. Why would I do that? You have six cards in hand. Do you six. know how rare that is in Rush Days? I have six cards in hand and nothing to play. I You've been playing way too many level sevens. They are not my fault. The not my fault. Some of the cards in the arch type were level seven. Booster. See, he proved maximums are better, guys. He just kicked my ass just by pulling one out of his ass. <laughs> hey, if you can get the maximum on the field, you win. Basically. 